Welcome back, Red Sea Max 250. Uh, it's been about two months since I've made a video. Uh, quite a bit has gone on. Uh, I came down with some uh, flatworms, I went ahead and treated them. And the only bad thing about it is I lost my copper banded butterfly fish. Uh, I picked up that fish about two, three months ago to help rid the Mahana anemones that I had in my tank, and it did a very good job, um, but could not make the, what do you want to say, eradication of the flatworms. It ended up getting stressed out and got ick, so I got rid of it before it messed the tank up anymore. Uh, I've added about five pounds of live rock. As you can see, the candy cane coral is no longer in the sand because the maroon clownfish likes to throw sand all over the place. So I went ahead and put the candy cane up on some live rock. So now it's a little bit higher up out of the sand as well as put some more rock right up here in the corner up against the back wall and the side glass um, as you can see there's three blue damsels swimming around there uh, just wanted to get some blue in the tank so I went ahead and picked up three blue damsels threw those in there a couple days ago and right there making this video so New York Stilo can check them out there is a single snowflake clown right there. Uh, if I can get a better picture of it. Uh, there's another one right over here. Boom. I got a pair of premium snowflake clowns. Beautiful little guys. They were actually going to go in another tank, but it wasn't working out. So they managed to be in this tank. I actually have three different tanks going right now. We have a Red Sea Max 250, a Red Sea Max 130, and a BioCube 14. The BioCube 14 was where they were going to go for a little while until the Red Sea Max 130 made it through its cycle. Um, has not cycled yet, which it's located right next to me. Got some reef safe ready rock in there. <laughs> reef ready, reef safe rock. Uh, that stuff cost a fortune. But this is my wife's new tank, uh, Red Sea Max 130. We got that set up about two weeks ago, so give it another two months, and we'll be ready to throw some stuff in there. Um. Other than that, you probably notice a little more of a blue look, bluish purple look in the aquarium. I uh, removed one of the 10,000K white lights and replaced it with the Artenic. So now I am running four Artenic and two of the 10,000K in the tank. And uh, I love the color so much more. It's just so much more purple and blue looking. Um, as for corals, you know me, I uh, gotta buy a million different damn things all the time. I have a new green tip frog spawn right here. I, let's see, what else? Right up here, it looks like we, I forget what it is. I don't think we're gonna get a good picture of it. There we go is something. It's blue. Sorry for all the shaking. Let me zoom out of there. But another hard coral. SPS. There's a few new things here and there. Like I said, there's about 50 different corals in this entire tank, so half the time I don't even remember when I put something new in there. We got some new red mushrooms I don't think I've shown anybody right down here. There's about nine of them on that rock. Picked it up for about ten bucks. 
And there's Crush, my maroon clown. We originally were going to put the two snowflakes with uh, two black Ocelaris clowns. Uh, that's a no-go. <laughs> you know, we read about it. It wasn't the smartest thing to do. And uh, the black ones just did not get along with these snowflakes. But my maroon clown here is just the nicest fish. And I swear it has no teeth. So we decided a couple nights ago to take these two snowflake clowns that we had in the uh, other tank and put them in this Red Sea Max 250 and see how they do. And so far, uh, everybody gets along. I'm probably at my max for fishing here right now. I don't think I'm going to get any more. I think there's about 10 of them in there now. But I didn't think I'd fill it up this quick. Sure enough, I have. Oh, any comments, suggestions? Just want to throw a shout out, go right ahead. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll run over in the other room, let you guys take a look at the uh, BioCube 14. I don't think I've ever got that on video yet. Needless to say, there is not a single flatworm in this system anymore. Minus my copper banded butterfly fish, which I loved. Alright, let's go look at that 14. Boom, alright. You guys all remember Hugs and Kisses, the two black Ocelaris clowns. Here they are again. They've been sitting in this 14 gallon bio cube. No issues. Just a couple of anemones. Actually, there's three anemones in here. If you can see them, we got the original green bubble tip anemone right there. which was originally in the Red Sea Max and the 28 gallon JBJ and we have another anemone right there another bubble tip and then we have a Pacific Long Tentacle anemone right there in the back basically on the overflow all this is soon to be located in the uh, Red Sea Max 130 though. Well now that I don't have a copper banded butterfly fish I can take my feather duster and put that back in my tank. There's actually like three feather dusters in this tank. They're just all over the place. This tank will soon become my frag tank. I'm just gonna throw some zoids in here and see what I can do. Sell some frags back to my local fish store for corals. Well there's the BioCube 14 that we've been running for about three months now just to keep the uh, clowns and basically the anemones out of my Red Sea Max because they destroy corals too much. Let's go check out that third tank real quick again. There we go. Red Sea Max 130. Picked it up on Craigslist for 300 bucks from some guy in New York. Went ahead, redid just about everything inside. All new pumps, skimmer, protein, everything. Protein, skimmer, heater, you name it. Cost me about 450 bucks total for this entire system. Stand and all. Beautiful system. So, the, basically my wife's going to turn this into our anemone tank. We're going to have the clowns and all the anemones inside of it. I have thrown one coral in. <laughs> I was going to throw this piece away. 
I don't know if you noticed in the Red Sea Max, I no longer have the uh, Peach Signalera. Just got too huge. I ended up chopping it up, throwing it in the garbage, fragging it out. I found this piece floating around in my tank, and I pulled it out, threw it in here. Seems to be doing really fine. But, back to uh, the normal vid. I guess it's not a quick update. But, uh, there you go. All three tanks. Red C Max 250, Red C Max 130, and BioCube 14. And they're actually all running really good. I thought it would be much more work, but like Stilo said a years ago, once you got one, two doesn't make much of a difference. Nor does three. <laughs> hey, everybody out there, have yourself a wonderful day. Peace.